Hello everyone. Let me update my tablet so that we could hang out. And let me say hi to everyone. Cousin Bonnie is first. Hello, hello, Cousin Bonnie, Cousin Phyllis. Welcome, guys. What are you guys up to? Are you guys ready? Are we crafting? What are we doing? Are you guys ready to make the bookshelf? Because I have the instructions in the description box for you. If you feel like, um, yeah, let's let's create our bookshelf. Let me get the prototype. Where did I put the prototype? Um, Robin is here. Hi, Robin. Oh, I put the prototype right here. Okay, so this is our prototype. And remember last Friday, we made these mini travel books. And then you can put like a scrapbook layout. Hi, Denise. Hi, Ceci. Hi, Bevs. Hello, Lasagna. How are you? So this is what we made on Friday, right? It's like, you know, you can put a layout if you wanted to. You could... You could put pictures of baby. Um, you could journal in them. You could put your passwords. Whatever you prefer, you could. So this is what we made. And we will be reviewing how to make this. So Sunday. Yes, I'm here Sunday. I'm working tomorrow, Bev. So I wanted to kind of do it. Um, Sorry. My table. I don't want you to see the mess of the mouse well it's there's not much i could do about the mouse situation anywho i, I don't think you mind um so this <laughs> marathon runner that's so funny sassy <laughs> yes so i do i did get i did get an award it's not an award it's just it's this one sham rockin so it was so much fun. I did it with my friend. It was 5K and I'm very truly proud of myself. My husband is proud of me too. So all good. And then we made a variation of this one. And this one last night I was, I was embossing. Look at that. I was embossing birthday sentiments using mama elephant stamps and i'm sure you have like sentiment stamps so that that is what so this pretty much is what we're making the bookshelf so i hope you have your craft supplies hi vero hello miss belinda welcome welcome erica is here also db butterfly is beth right beth is that you beth db butterfly please correct me if i'm wrong hello grandma joe welcome back Nice to see you. Yes, I hope it's Beth, DB Butterfly. Um, so are you guys ready? I have four sheets of sturdy cardstock here, so we're going to start. Okay, so all this is in the description box below for you, Beth. <laughs> so cute, Beth. Hi, Tracy. How are you? Just wanted to check in real quick. Gotta go to bed. Be up at 3 in the morning. What? That's insane. That is insane. Hello, Annette. Hello, Pebbles. So, so get your, my friend, need for you to get four sheets of, because this is what we're going to need. We're going to get, need for the bookshelf, two of this. One 12 by 9 and a half and one 10 and 5, 8 by 7 and 7, 8. So, yes. Thank you for hanging out with us really quick, Lasagna, before you went on a nap. All this, this description is in the description box for you. So just check that out. Let me put other things away and I'm going to get 12 by 12. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get, you're going to cut. We're going to cut these so that we can just score. Hi, Alvina. I know Alvina made some books. So we're going to get two of this, one of this, and one of this. So that's our goal. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so let me grab these. And I'm going to get my scoring tool. Uh, no, trimmer. Paper trimmer. Okay, so let us... Let me get my guillotine. And this is what we're going to do. 
Yes, Cousin Bonnie is A plus for being the first to arrive in class. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cum laude, cum laude, you get an award. So we're going to need two sheets of 12 by 11. So essentially, you're just going to remove an inch, okay? So this is already 12 by 12. You're going to remove an inch, and you're going to do that two times. So that's the first. Okay, let me get the next one. Okay, so you're going to you're going to need two of that. We are working on it. Can you hear the dryer? Cuz we did spring cleaning today. And so the dryer is doing some clothes. The next one is you're going to need a 12 by 9 and a half. Just got home from work. Yes, pebbles. Relax. Put your feet up. So this is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. We're going to cut it at 12 by 9 and a half. Okay. So we're cutting the paper and then we're scoring after we've cut everything to size. Okay. The next and the last one, the last paper, is 10 and 5, 8 by 7 and 7, 8. So 7 and 7, 8 by 10 and 5 8 that is it and then your your trimming is done and now we get our trimmer that is it and you have a lot of leftover which i love i love having leftovers so you have this for leftover for for next time for sentiments this would be super cute for sentiments okay so, we're going to get our scoreboard. Zuma is here. Hi, Zuma. Sis, don't be jealous. I had measurements for hours. <laughs> yeah, me and Bonnie spoke today. <laughs> um, hi, Lana. How are you? We're making the bookshelf, okay? So, this is our measurement. I'm going to put it right here so you can see that. And we're going to get our 12 by, 12 by 11 first. <coughs> Let me get some coffee. <coughs> okay, and then get your, this one, handy dandy. Okay, you guys ready? Lauren is here. Hi, Lauren. It is a Sunday today, that is true. And it is 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, so... I hear you. I hear you. Good night, Lauren. <coughs> <coughs> so these are... <coughs> at the 12-inch mark, we're going to score at 1 and 1 fourth. <coughs> and 3 and a half on both sides. That asterisk right there, <coughs> is, we should have asterisks on here too. So it's one asterisk, it's going to be on both sides. If it's two asterisks, it's going to be on all four sides. Okay. <clears throat> I'm off for three days. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. So one and one fourth, three and a half on both sides. And then you're going to turn... <clears throat> You're going to turn, and at the 11-inch mark, you're going to score one and a half. And three and three-fourths on both sides. Okay? Just like that. <clears throat> one and a half, three and three-fourths. And then we burnish. Super easy, you guys. This is super perfect for... <clears throat> this is so perfect. Okay, I'm going to move it just that. This is super perfect for the books. This is what we're making, you guys. This is this is our bookshelf for our books that we made on Friday. Super fun, super easy. <clears throat> I wanted to leave you guys an assignment before I go back to work tomorrow. And I'm going to follow up on those homeworks, okay? Your homework is to create... 
a bookshelf, and at least one book. That's all I ask. That is it. <clears throat> and then burnish. Just like that. Just like that. And then, as always, this is your reinforcement. This is your reinforcement, reinforcement, reinforcement. So we're going to cut that how we normally cut our reinforcements. <clears throat> Tired night. Good night. Who's leaving? I'm doing my homework on Tuesday. Yes. Great job. As long as you're doing your homework, Bevs, I'm going to check it. I'm very happy if you do your homework. That's all I ask. I'm going to cover this because I'm so annoyed by that by the look of that <clears throat> it seems so dark i feel like <clears throat> so <clears throat> you're gonna need two of the exact same thing okay <clears throat> i need my inhaler i think <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> let me use it Gracie's name is Erica. Okay, so that's done. <clears throat> so today, <clears throat> you know, time changing and everything. We lost an hour of sleep. <clears throat> which is fine. But we did some spring cleaning. <clears throat> Lots of dusting around the house. Cleaning all the bathrooms. <clears throat> we're making, we're, you know, we're just creating tabs, you guys, and then cutting the reinforcement. Same as always. It's the same thing. It's very consistent. <clears throat> Gracie is my dog. Gracie is my puppy. Yes. <clears throat> Your actual name, her name is Erica. And Gracie is her dog. So, you know, same as before, you guys. Cut your reinforcements and create tabs. Same as before. <clears throat> and again, this is your reinforcement. <clears throat> reinforcement, you need four of them. Four reinforcements. Because you want your project to be sturdy, right? Because you're going to be putting a dozen books in the bookshelf. So you're going to want to... <clears throat> you're going to want to plan for it to be sturdy. First of all, you're using your 110 pound card stock. What's your plan for this week? I am working Monday, Tuesday. So I'm going to be very quiet both days. Not a peep from me. <clears throat> not a peep at all so this is what we're making and we're making two of this okay guys so this is what it looks like you already know what it looks like <clears throat> so the first thing we do is you put adhesive here adhesive here and attach so let me get my glue gun <clears throat> hi Erlinda we're making our bookshelf how many have you done Bonnie how many have you done, Bonnie? Yes. <clears throat> so this is what we're going to do. And then same as before. Hi, Audrey. Hello, BB. How are you? So, you guys, perfect timing because we're going to be creating another one. We, we need two of this. You missed creating one, but I'm going to create another one <clears throat> because we needed two. <coughs> Hi, Sandy. A hedge scrapbook. Didn't see the notice. No problem. So we're making the bookshelf. And this is the instructions. And the instructions is also in the description box for you. <clears throat> Creating, it's the same. It's very consistent with how I normally create the shelves. Just like that. So you've attached everything. This is what it looks like so far. <coughs> Excuse me.
excuse me. <coughs> Hi, Stace. <clears throat> so this bookshelf can accommodate 12 books and we're going to create a drawer <clears throat> so we're just making we're making this right now and we're going to make another one <clears throat> and these are the instructions and this all this is in the description box for you I'm okay, you know, Cousin Phyllis. It's always like this during springtime. <clears throat> I already took my Claritin. So everything is good. <clears throat> I just... This happens to me. I have to clear my throat. Hi, Alicia. How are you? Right there. Lexi, that's true. I need tea. Lex, I think she's taking a shower. Lexi's taking a shower. I have my coffee. What's up? <clears throat> I was gonna ask Lexi to get me tea. Nick, can you get mama tea? Can you, like... can you Nick peppermint tea, please? Peppermint. Nick, can you get mama peppermint tea? Thank you. So we have one made, and if you think about it. It <clears throat> and we're gonna make another one. Don't worry. If you just got here, I'm gonna show you. Lexi's taking a shower, so Nick is gonna get me tea. Look at that. I'm imagining like what if you have like all Disney <clears throat> or all the books are Maggie Holmes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Bonnie and Nick have the same birthday. What are you doing for your birthday, Bonnie? Nick, we're going for Nick's birthday. We're going to um, go bowling, bowling, bowling. <clears throat> so we're gonna get another one, and at the this is the twelve and twelve by eleven, and at the eleven inch mark, you're going to score at one and a half, and three and three fourths on both sides. This is the second one, okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Cousin Phyllis. So one and a half, three and three fourths at the 11 inch mark. I've put in the description box below for you. And then one and one fourth and three and a half on both sides. <clears throat> so who's making this bookshelf with me? Who's making it? I want to know. Because, you guys, this is your homework for this week, okay? I'm working Monday, Tuesday. <clears throat> I want to see your books and your bookshelf this coming week. I'm going to check your homework. And don't forget to use the hashtag. <clears throat> What's our hashtag? Oh, the hashtag is... Hashtag PHA 2022 mini travel book. Mini travel book. Singular. Just like that. <clears throat> Mother called. Yes, Stace. You need to make books because we're making the bookshelf right now. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> I will check your homework, Alicia and Lana. Hi, Tammy. Tammy, we're creating the um, bookshelf. So, we're creating the bookshelf. The bookshelf in itself <clears throat> can accommodate 12 books. <clears throat> yes, Alicia, okay. Yes, you have to make... You don't, I need, <laughs> yes, you need to make the books, Alicia. I have so much paper, but no paper. What? Thank you, Nick. This is my pepper. Can you bring this outside? Or can you bring this to the kitchen? It's hot. You hold it onto the holder. It's hot enough. <clears throat> Thank you for my tea. Love you. Nick got me tea. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. My comment. Okay. <clears throat> Use your paper, Stace. Use your paper. Hi, Cheryl. Hey, Barbara. How are you, honey? Thank you for the link. Uh, thank you for the hashtag, Lana. So, we're creating two of this. This is what it looks like, my friends. <clears throat> I'm creating white because it looks like an Ikea white. And you, we can go like all the colors of the books if you want to. Obviously, if you want a pink shelf... Do a pink shelf. It's up to you. I bought a big bag of M&M's and need someone to stop me from eating them all. Help, that's so cute. <clears throat> it's not one thing, it's your mother. <laughs> Bonnie, you're so funny. Yes, Nick is going to be 11 on Friday, actually. 11 on Friday. We're going to go bowling. He invited his bestie. <clears throat> so that's what's happening bowling I'm gonna pick up the kids from school and they're gonna have a sleepover at my house reinforcements we're cutting the tabs it's the same as how we normally cut our tabs my friends <clears throat> same as before So your mission, if you choose to accept it this week, is to create at least one book for your bookshelf. At least one book. That's it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you like it, Miss Arlinda. I want you to make your own. That's your homework for this week. <clears throat> at least one book in the bookshelf. That is it for this week. <clears throat> You can do different themes. It's going to be so much fun. It's fun because you're only using that. This entire bookshelf only uses four sheets of 12 by 12. I know you have paper. I know you do. <clears throat> what about you, Bonnie? What are you um, What are you doing for your birthday? BB's going to make a pink one. I love it. What about you guys? What color are you making your your bookshelf? <clears throat> what is the color of your bookshelf? Let me know. Let me know. I'm not sure if I'm going live on Friday because it's Nick's birthday. <clears throat> so this is where we put the adhesive first. I would love to make a teal one. That will be so cute. I'm going to a murder dinner. Oh my gosh, it's it's a show going Wednesday. <clears throat> Hi, Farida. Do you like your glue gone? Been looking at the Sherbonder. Yes. I've never, I've never used a glue gun <clears throat> with a battery pack. I have a cordless one, but this one you have to put it back where it was after, you know, after you use it. You put it back. It pretty much like it's just. <clears throat> so you're not attached. Hello, Shelly. Welcome back. Hi, Maddie. <clears throat> Alvina's making a pink one. I'm definitely, definitely want to see that. Alvina, please tag me. I want to see your pink bookshelf, my friend. I definitely want to see the pink bookshelf that Alvina is going to make. What about Tammy? What color are you making? Erica's going to make pink or white. What about everyone? What what color is your bookshelf? Beth. Beth, what is the color of your bookshelf? Cousin Phyllis. Who else is here that's making the bookshelf? Let's start with who's making the bookshelf, right? <clears throat> I'm making a white one. Gonna sew and decorate some doodle bug paper. Yay! That's perfect. <clears throat> Bonnie, if you want, you can make all the books using the Lots of Love because you have the collection. <clears throat> Bev's is gonna make pink. Pink! Go oh, garden party for Beth! That would be gorgeous. Beth, you can, <clears throat> you can totally, 
totally 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 do that it's gonna be so beautiful all of the papers will be garden party yes 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 garden party would be gorgeous <clears throat> Maritza is here. Hi, Maritza. How are you? Welcome, welcome. We're making the bookshelf for um, the mini travel books. So that's that's what I'm doing right now. Everything is in the description box below for you. If you have work tomorrow and you got to go, that's your assignment, though. I need for you to do your assignment, okay? You have to use the hashtag so I can check your work. I can check that you've done the homework, okay? I want to see, I want to see. Oh, Obed Marshall would be absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I definitely want to make a doodlebug one for sure. Of course. <clears throat> Look at that. We have two already. So this one and this one right there. Next, we're going to create the drawer and the drawer pull. This is the easiest, you guys. So easy. You totally got this. So we're going to get this paper. And this paper is 12 by 9 and a half. <clears throat> I haven't used mine either, Bonnie. Garden party. Use it, use it, use it. It's going to be so much fun. I bought the Lynn Lily glue gun. It's teal color and I love it. It's a type that has cord. But can be used without a cord. That's perfect. That is perfect, Erlinda. I didn't buy it. <clears throat> it was out of stock when I tried to buy it. And then I haven't tried buying it again. Next, so this is the bookshelf drawer, and this is 12 by 9 and a half. You're going to score all the sides at 1 and a half and 3 and 3 fourths. All sides. So easy. 1 and a half and 3 and 3 fourths. That is so easy, don't you think? I have to look through my paper, then decide. Ooh, pebbles. What is your, I would, I, well, my suggestion for you is what is your favorite and what do you love creating with the most? Like what collection do you gravitate towards? I, that's what I would make, you know. <clears throat> Next, we're going to burnish and score and create our tabs. Same as before. I think Bev's is still here. So I'm just burnishing. Okay, just like that. And this is the drawer, the drawer of the bookshelf. The one in the middle right here. This one, this layer. And obviously you don't have to, uh, you don't have to use the drawer pull. If you want this to be open, by all means, yes. Make it, keep it open if you want to. The drawer is an option if you want to do that. But if you want to keep it all open in the shelf, then yes, go for it. I'm stuck on the black and green glue gun, I guess, because it's the first one I've used. I have the pink <clears throat> We Are Member Keepers glue gun that came out last year, and I don't use it. Why not? You should use it. Good night, Grandma Jo. God bless. Annette is listening but working on taxes. Oh, that's not good. Bev, it's a lot of lives right now. How she rolls. What are we talking about? Night, night, Grandma Joe. God bless you too. That's so cute. Have a great week, Grandma Joe. So now we burnished everything. Okay. We're going to do the same thing, friend. We're going to cut. Okay, right here. Cut your reinforcement. Same as before. Exactly the same as before. Okay. 
Okay. Same as how we did it. Same, same, same. So easy. <clears throat> the good thing is these tutorials are very consistent. So if you're able to, to use that skill, you're going to keep on... If you've learned that skill in the past tutorials, then you're going to keep on using it. Okay. Exactly the same, friend. Not even kidding. It's the easiest thing to do. Did I miss something? Okay. I think BB was looking for you, Bevs. I feel the black and green glue leaves a lot of webs in the pink <clears throat> than the pink turquoise. Say, someone asked if you were here. Yes. Hello, Kika. We're creating the bookshelf. And this one is the drawer. And then after this, we're going to create the drawer pull and we're done. This is your homework for this week, my friends. Okay. Your homework is to create at least one book, which we're going to be creating today, just in case you miss Friday's live. Okay. Where do you get a pink glue gun? I need one. Cheryl needs a pink glue gun, you guys. Please, please, please share with her where you got it. Just like that. Same as before. Amazon, not on Christian's lives. Hello, L. Okay. Okay, who's doing the homework? Who is going to be making at least one book? I know Bonnie did it. I know Bonnie's going to do it. Bonnie already made books. Um, Alvina made books. Gina made books. Now, the next commitment as part of the homework is... Creating a bookshelf for your books. Because that's where you're going to put it. If you have um, storage for your for your, um, for your your books, then you're going to be making more. Right? That's the goal. Yay, you made a book! Cousin Phyllis made a book. Yes. Colitas, check. Cheryl, check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I'm going to watch that. And I'm going to check... If you guys did it, please don't forget to use the hashtag because I follow the hashtag and it shows me if you use the hashtag, I can look at all of the people who use the hashtag so I can comment and see your work, you know, and this is our drawer. Again, you don't have to put the drawer pull if you want to, you want to leave it open, you could just like this, see? This is an open Calyx. If you want a drawer, you could. If you don't want it, then you can stop creating right now. And Erica says, I made a doodle bug book today. I haven't posted it yet. Yes, yes, yes. So look at that. This is what we made so far. This is done. Oop, what did I do here? Oops, uh, uh, uh-oh, uh-oh, drawer pull, I put that, 778, oh my gosh, this is what I made, what, oh, this is the drawer, okay, who scared me, scared me, oh my god, that scared me. And this one is... Why is this short? Oh my god, what am I doing? Wait! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me look. I'm not grading it. I'm just marking for completion, okay? Marking for completion. Hello, Gina! How are you? This is the 7 and 7, 8. 
What happened here? Okay, wait, 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 friends. I need to figure this out. The length. What happened? Because look, it's short. Why is it short? You see that? It is an inch short. Uh-oh, that's not good. Not good, not good. <clears throat> I am sore. My legs are sore and everything, but, you know, what are you going to do? I am recovering. I'm resting today. So, thank goodness I am off today. So, that's the bookshelf drawer. The bookshelf, okay. Let me get another piece of paper, you guys. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. I don't know what happened when it comes to the prototype. I got more paper. See, these are my... These are the multiple sizes that I tried yesterday. That's the book. Okay. This is... Give me a second. This is what I have had. Book sentiments. Sentiment inside 2.0. Okay. Bookshelf. Because the initial version was. Sorry, you guys. Let me figure it out. The initial version was having four, but it's going to be taller. So we decided we want to make it wider. We want to make it wider. We all make mistakes. I know. I'm sorry. Our fearless leader made a boo-boo. Yes, I did. I did. I did. I'm so sorry. Have my head on my pillow. Yes. You need a second measurement. Okay, so let's do it. Second measurement. Um, this is crazy. I will rewrite. I will rewrite everything. Bonnie, what happened? Did you make yours? Um, and then did it did it work for you? For the drawer pull. The drawer pull is supposed to be nine and a half, and that's what I did for sure. Okay, so I know it's gonna be 12, so I know it's gonna be one and a half and three and three fourths. Okay. One and a half, three and three fourths. Let's do that. Okay, so there you go. One and a half and three and a half. So therefore, it's going to be one fourth. Now I know what's going on. It's going to be a quarter. Let's try. Let's move this here. So therefore, it's going to be... So the score mark is going to be one and one fourth and three and a half. Okay, let's try that on both sides. <clears throat> let's try that. That's the width. So this is at the 12 inch mark. Okay. Okay, let's make let's make it work. So one and one fourth is here. Okay, let's try it. I need to make sure that it works. Okay, so that's that. Same thickness. Nope. This is what I want. Now this is taller. Okay. So one and one fourth by three and a half. That's what I did. That's what I didn't do. Okay, let's get another sheet of paper. Sorry, Eileen, hello, hello, hello. Sorry, you guys, I made a mistake. So I'm going to do nine and a half. I'm still going to go for nine and a half, but the score mark will be... Okay, 
Don't freak out, Christian. It's okay. It's all right. Okay, so at the 12-inch mark, we're going to score at one and one-fourth. I make mistakes also. I apologize, my friends. Mistakes happen. And yeah, you, you just have to fess up and face the music and apologize for your mistake. And that's all good. And then all I need to do is change in the comments and it's all going to be fine. Now that's perfect. So that's a good one. Next, we're going to turn it in at the nine and a half inch mark. We're going to score at, because we want it to be this thin right here. This is the right thin thickness. We want it at, let me think. Let's do one and a half and three and three fourths. One and a half and three and three fourths. Let me see. One and a half. And then one and a half. Two and a half. Okay, let's do it. One and a half and three and three fourths. One and a half and three and three fourths. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Made it. Okay, so at the 12 inch mark, you're going to score here. And at the nine inch mark, you're going to score here. Got it? Oh my gosh, that made me sweat a little bit. Christian, you are going to have to make a separate tutorial because I never follow a live. Oh, it's going to be, it's so hard to make another tutorial because I have so many projects. <laughs> so many projects. I'm going to edit this right now. So for the drawer shelf, I'm editing the description right now, okay? I Let me edit. At the 12 inch mark. 12 inch side score at one and one fourth and three and a half. Okay. Okay, I hope. Okay, so I'm changing it right now, my friends, so that you can edit it. One and one fourth. And three and a half on both sides. I will try, I will try if I could to make a separate tutorial. No promises though. Score at one and a half and three and three fourths on both sides. Okay, I'm going to save that so we have the final that is the final measurement whoo that was tense that was tense a little bit uh hello patty hello 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 you guys i apologize for i apologize for this so at the 12 inch mark you're going to score at one and one fourth and three and a half on both sides and then at the nine and a half inch mark you're going to score at one and a half and three and three fourths on both sides i have adjusted that i've adjusted it and i've changed the description box so that it will reflect the correct measurement just put the measurements and go back fast forward and talk forward the talk yes 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 that's a good idea um that's why i can't promise i'm unable to promise that i will be able to create separate tutorials outside of the live I was able to do it before, but right now it's a little bit busy, especially I have certain projects at work. So, yeah, sorry about that. Hi, Deanne. You do these for free. Oh, thank you so much, Gina. Thank you, thank you so much. I used to have a lot more time. Right now, I am, I'm just, you know, I want to make sure that you have the measurements and I do it in the, in the live if 
if I could, I would try to do a separate tutorial. Um, but this one, hopefully, I apologize for this mishap. But now we have the correct measurements. Whew, made me stress a little bit, but all is good now. So, Gina, how was your camping? <laughs> Bonnie, thank you, Bonnie. Okay, so this one, same as before, you guys. Same as before. Okay. So, I think, you guys, if you want to, you don't have to do the drawer. If you want it to be like an open Calyx kind of system where you want to put mini decorations, you could, right? Up to you, but this is how you're going to assemble it. I just want to show you how to put it together so that you can create it for your homework next week. I feel like you craft every day. You are the hardest working crafter I know. No need for apologies. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is so, so sweet. Oh, Jane is here. Hi, Jane. <laughs> Tell me you're so cute. <laughs> Fruit fly. That's so cute. Um, my run was good. My run was good. My friend Marlon, my husband, and Marlon's husband, they were all so supportive. My friend Parker was there too. And her husband, Leon. And... Um, it was so much fun. It was my first, first ever marathon. So I was so nervous. I didn't sleep the night before. Um, so when I got home, I took a nap. Like, um, like a toddler. <laughs> like a toddler. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Patty. That is so, so sweet. That is just so sweet. I appreciate it. Um, so this is what we're doing. And hopefully, I am hoping that a lot of you guys will do this week's homework. And I hope that you enjoy your scrap stash. That's that's the goal, isn't it? To be able to use your scrap stash. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I got a, I got a medal. And it is not gold. You cannot bring it to the pawn shop. But it feels amazing. It's very heavy. I love it. Do, 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 do. And people were so supportive. People were like cheering you on. Never happened before. Yeah. Never happened to me before. So it was it was an amazing experience. At least I can check that off in my um you know, you have your I have my bucket list of things that I want to do before I croak. So I'm glad that that's done. Yes, it works. Yes, yes, yes. We did um, spring cleaning today. Lots and lots of accomplishments that was done today. So this is what we have. And these are the books. And this is your shelf. We're just going to glue it together just like that. And then we're going to create the drawer. Okay, the drawer, hopefully this is the correct one because I'll be sweating bullets again if it isn't. Okay, so this one is the 7 and 7, 8. The goal is to score it at 1 and 2 and 7, 8 on all sides. I hope this is the right one. 2 and 7, 8 on all four sides. Two and seven eight. One, two and seven eight. Ooh, I think this is short again. Dang it. Nope. This is perfect. Yes. So score and burnish. Score and burnish. I'm so excited, you guys, because we're gonna decorate this and we're gonna use doodle bug paper. Yes, yes, yes. And I think I haven't really decided on what paper to use, but I think it's going to be spring because that's what I have in front of me right here. And I do have some spring colors. And we're going to make some books for our friends who was not there during the book creation. So easy. So easy peasy. 
It's the same, my friends. Imagine you're doing it this over and over and over. It's the same. You'll be an expert in no time in this specific technique of creating a 3D project. And it is sturdy. There's reinforcements, which I absolutely love. I love creating solid projects so that you can... You can definitely, uh, you know, you can be confident that it's going to ship well. If it's going to be for a swap, you know that it's going to stand the test of time in your craft room. Um, your swap partner will enjoy it. Wouldn't it be so cute to do like a book, a mini travel book swap because it can go flat in the mail. I think this is a great idea for a swap, to be honest. Clean as you go. And don't worry, the boo-boo that I made, I've updated it in the system. Hello, Barbara. How are you? Much? Stamp too much? Is that Barbara? Let me know. Let me know if that is you. I hope I made it. I do, ha I do have its love. Hi oh, hippity hoppity. Yes, you can do that. I have this calculia. Takes me hours. Yes, I am so sorry about that. That's why I give you all the instructions. Hi, Chiquita. Hello, how are you? Welcome, guys. Thank you for all the thumbs up. I appreciate it. And um, so this is a cute project, you guys. Imagine you're going to... Imagine if you want... If you have a baby, a new baby in your life, and you want to give, like, mini photo books, mini photo albums to the mom for the baby's first year you have so much time to make it all pretty and put your own layout man this is this gift would be so so precious yay it's barbara love it love it thank you for being here barbara happy sunday um the reason why i'm doing a live today is because i want you guys to have the time to work on your homework okay the minimum homework, obviously you get extra credit for doing more, but the minimum homework is creating the bookshelf and creating at least one book, okay? Hello, hello, Gabby's here also. Hi, Gabby. I did not know that Gabby was here. Sorry, I didn't see that. Um, so yes, anybody interested in the homework, it would be super awesome. And this goes right there. Perfect, perfect, perfectly. Just like that. Okay. So, for the friends who weren't here. For the friends who weren't here during the creation of the creation of our mini books. I'm going to create one for you. So that you can see. Being a craft professor. <laughs> that cracks me up. Miss you with a banana. I know it's for Chiquita. Wait, what? Okay, so I'm going to attach it. I'm going to use my glue gun to attach the shelves together instead of instead of nails. This is my tool of my trade. My glue gun. Okay, so I'm holding it inside right there, holding it and making sure that it is, you guys, this is solid. This is solid, just like that. And then you're going to, this is like liquid nails for paper. You know, when you assemble Ikea furniture. Okay. Okay, make sure that it is solid, attached, good. Check your sides, make sure that it's symmetrical. Hey, Camelia, please tell me your name. I'm not as good as Christian. Beth, her name is Beth. I love it, that's the name of our university. <laughs> yes, 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 so this is what we have and then this is your drawer. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, now let's decorate. Let's let me put this away. Let's put these away because because. Okay, 
Okay, now we're going to get some doodle bug. This is still the instructions and this is all in the description box. I've updated it just for you, honey. So let's get this petite spring paper. Um, I'm going through my stash. This would be cute. Let's do that. Petite spring. Stickers. Ooh, we have odds and ends. We can use the odds and ends. That'd be so cute. Because in my... My Deborah name is Banana. Wait. Because in my Deborah name... What? Chiquita Banana in the world today. What? Hi, Gina S. How are you? It's pronounced Beth. I love it. It's Beth. <laughs> okay. So, I think... This is what we have... I don't think we actually need to cover the inside. If you wanted to, you can. A lot of our friends are doing pink. Um, this is what I have. I'm going to definitely cover this side, okay? So I think the pink wood grain would be super cute. Let me get a pink wood grain. I think wood grain would be the best. This one comes from Three Craft Chicks, you guys. They have amazing, amazing products. Do we want pink wood grain? Or yellow wood grain? Look how cute is this pink. So I'm just going to cover it like this. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Pink wood grain would be cute. And now we measure. She called me banana. She uses a moji banana only sometimes to talk to me. <laughs> Cousin, remember the commercial? I told her her name reminds me of banana. Chiquita banana. Chiquita banana. Um, what did you miss? What did you miss, baby? Spring green is super, super cute. So this one measures two and a quarter. Two and a quarter, which means that you're going to need two and one eighth as your decorative element. So I'm going to write that down so I can put it in the description box below. Decorative element. Side is two. The thickness is two and one eighth. And then the height. Let's look at the height. The height is from here to here. Nine and one eighth, I think. Nine and one eighth. So nine. You're going to need two pieces of this. Two pieces. Because it's here and here, right? And then the top is two and one eighth by. Uh, I'm measuring it on my table. Five inches. So it's going to be four and seven eight. And then the drawer portion, this drawer you have to decorate it, my friend. I made a book since I watched your IG. I made a bookshelf. I, I'll make a bookshelf this week. I'm so excited. I'm so, so happy that you're going to do it, Camelia. Thank you. Thank you. It would be fun to have a little book. Yes. Wouldn't it be so much fun to have a little book from everyone? Like one is going to be designated to do all Disney. One is going to be spring. You know, that will be so much fun. So this is four. So it should be four and five, eight. Bye. So this is drawer. I'm writing it down so that I, I'll tell you all the measurements. So one and five, eight. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's cut it. Okay. So I'm going to cut. Let me cut nine inches. Nine by two and one eighth. So I'm going to cut nine. If you want to, you can decorate the back as well. That is up to you. If I have leftover paper, I will. So two and one eighth, and this is for the side. If you want to do, if you want to put stitching, you can. That is absolutely up to you, my friend. 
right there. And this one is going to be for this side right here. See the wood grain? How cute. Just like that. And we're going to be using our Barely Arts for that. If you want to put some stitching, you can if you want to. Um, I'm going to make the sewing machine for my mom for her birthday. Yay, good luck, good luck, good luck. You can do it. You definitely could. Um, the top part is two and one eight. Two and one eight. So this one is... Okay, two and one eight by four and seven eight. So let me do four and seven eight. Four and seven eight by two and one eight is the top. Okay, so when I when I say the top, it means the top of your right here. So I'm just getting all of our stuff ready. Four and five eight is our drawer by one and five eight. One and a half, one and five eight. Perfect. Where's my drawer? Is this my drawer or the other one? Not sure. Which one is my drawer? Wait up. Wait up. That is short. Wait up. Yeah. That should, this should work. Why did it not work? So it has to be four and seven, eight. Got it. Is this nine inches? Let me see. Yes. It is nine inches. So it has to be four. Four and seven, eight. I do have four and seven, eight would be the drawer portion. And then what did I do here? Did I not measure this properly? No, you didn't. Okay, so I need to... I need to cover this. Drawer is four and five eight. Sorry, I'm not looking at I'm not looking at the chat. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to make sure that I give you the right measurement. Four and seven eight. So it's four and seven eight. So it's four and three fourths. Got it. Four and three fourths by one and five eight. Right? Nope. One and three fourths. Okay. Now we have it all correct. So one and three quarters by four and three quarters. Let me take this out. Okay, so imagine that you already put some stitching on it. Because I'm not going to put some stitching. It's cute if you do do stitching, but it's not mandatory. What's important is you're able to decorate it. This is the back portion. We're going to cover it. Let me get my Barely Art. Let me get that. Gina's going to retire. I am so excited for you, friend. I am not there yet. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a while, but I'm sure my retirement is full of crafting. I believe it. You guys, don't forget to greet Cousin Bonnie on Friday. It's her birthday. Um, Bonnie and my son Nick have the same birthday, so that's why I know it's going to be Bonnie's birthday because Nick, Gina asks, how do you feel? How do you feel? 
Hello, Olga. Hello, cousin Olga. How are you? Retirement must be amazing. You're probably going to have like the biggest smile. How long? How long have you been working there? You know how some people work there for 30 years? I had a coworker who celebrated his 31st year at work. That's a lot of years in one area, you know. Look how cute. Look how cute is our pink wood grain. It is pink wood grain. If you prepare well, yes. Bit bittersweet. Yes, it's Nick and Cousin Bonnie's birthday on Friday. So, don't forget to greet our friends. Nick is having a bowling party and a sleepover. Bonnie is going to a murder mystery party. On Wednesday. Thirty years. Wow, 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 Shelly. That's a long time, Christian. And yes, you're hosting the swap. Wait, what? No, I don't host swaps. <laughs> I cannot host swaps. It's too much to organize. Um, we have to find someone to host a swap. Because it's too much work. It's too much work to organize the stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of work. I don't know how... I don't know how, like, people do it. I'm not very good in hosting stuff. It's a lot of coordination. Lots and lots of work. But it would be so cute if somebody hosts a swap for the mini travel books. 19 years crafting every day. Love it. Okay. Man, this is cute. Loving ever since. Crafting every day. Isn't that the dream? The dream is to craft every single day. Hey, Cousin Olga. How are you? Christian. Chiquita. Yes. What's up, Christian? Just did. Just add everyone's name in a jar. And pick partners. Yes, but I have to organize. And then somebody bails out. Oh, I can't do that. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work and coordination. Who wants to volunteer to organize? Who wants to volunteer to organize the swap, the book swap? I think Chiquita is volunteering. Are you volunteering, Chiquita? Because... You know, you just add everyone's name in a jar and put the part, pick the partners. Is it going to be two partners or it's going to be multiples? How's it going to go? Eastern Panhandle. I'm making my books and shelves for myself. It will be cute in my craft room. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is our pink one. And it's going to be so much fun to create true people bail. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And, and, you know, for people who send their... What are you going to do? What do you do? It's They're going to be very disappointed, which is like, I hate making people disappointed. That's the worst. That is the worst. Okay, I'm going to get... So for the friends who missed... For the friends who missed our live um, on Friday, I'm going to make a book. I'm going to make a book. And then we're going to decorate our bookshelf. I mean, there's not a lot to decorate when it comes to the bookshelf. You know why? Because it is, it is going to be filled with books. So, I'm in a Facebook group. We swap twice a month. Yes, yes, yes. So, what do you what do you swap? Um, pebbles. Is there a specific theme? And do you have a swap partner that's going to be your swap swap partner all throughout the year? You tell them if they flake. You're telling everyone they flaked all over the internet. 
for neighbors. I'm in Bowie. Oh, Jane, you guys have, you are neighbors. I'm watching on Friday, but fell asleep. That is not a problem, Shelly. So I'm cutting my paper. I'm cutting my paper. Too much trabajo. Yes, yes, too much trabajo. I agree with you. It is a lot of work. I need to get another sheet of a different kind of... Yes, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of coordination. That's why I don't host. Because I know what are, what's my strengths and weaknesses. And it is not... My strength is not that. <laughs> Setting up swaps, not my strength. It's a lot of organization. Themes and always get different partners. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we're getting a six by six. Three sheets of six by six and we're cutting it at three inches. This is why this project of creating the tiny books are so addicting. Is because it is so easy and fast. Like you can make multiple books in no time at all. Um... So, the first thing is, I want to identify, this is probably my, okay, so let's score, always start with two inches, two, two and one eight, and four and one eight, that's the start. So one eight increments, so easy. And this is your your smallest one. Next, again, two inches, two and one fourth this time, and four and one fourth. The easiest. And then I'm going to put my flap on the left side. Yes, yes, yes. And then this one wraps because it gets bigger and bigger. Next, two and three eighths. So two inches, two and three eighths, four and three eighths. Again, so easy, no problem. I had crafty website once. I made a list of flickers and posted it publicly on the site. Most times they were hit and run. Oh no, different themes, different swap partners. Jane, that will be great. Phyllis, you, me, and Camelia. We need to meet up in the spring. Yes, great idea. Meet up. Represent PHA. Hi, Frida. How are you? Somebody nominates Alicia. <laughs> BB nominates Alicia. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Alicia, you got nominated. Two inches, two and a half, four and a half. Alicia, you got nominated to... To do the hosting. Alicia's like, wait, wait. <laughs> Alicia's like, wait, 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 wait. What happened? <laughs> that is so funny. And then next is two inches. Two and five eight. And four and five eight. And then the flap is going to be on the left. It's not a problem. You know why? Because there's no print. There's no orientation to think about. Right there. And then our cover is the ladybug. Do we like the ladybug as cover? Yeah, I do like the ladybug as cover. So two inches as always. Two and three fourths. And four and three fourths. And then that's your cover. Easy. And then we're going to glue it. I'm going to use my Barely Arts. And then your book is done easiest thing to do gets bigger and bigger we got four and a half inches of snow wow it's still snowing over there i'm so sorry you guys because it is sunny here in california already make six get six wow gina that's a lot of snow I think if you want to swap um, 
if you want to swap these i think you should you just contact people directly yeah you know what i mean contact them in the facebook group because not sure if people want to want to host it that's the problem bb but if you just want to contact that person directly then swap with a partner still snowing in the east coast right so sad but gina is in the west coast and it's snowing in reno 59 degrees in texas and chilly must be so cold we did spring cleaning today it was spring and sunny are we talking about making swapping yes swapping the mini books is um is what we're talking about i think you know whoever wants to swap should contact each other either through facebook um bb if you want to swap contact people who's who's wanting to swap who wants to swap let me know in the description so that the friends who are willing to do it as well can know who wants to do it you know what i mean if you want to if you're willing if you're willing to do it swap with a friend remember one book can fit in in one book can fit in an envelope like a card so there's not a lot of postage to pay for look at that look how flat that is then that you can expand and then we're going to put it in the book look how cute that's your book right there you make it look so easy but when i tried mine it turned out wrong wait no it's gonna be fine erlinda it's super easy just follow the um just follow the measurements look so so easy you got this erlinda you totally got this honey and then and then you get you get a fairy right you get a fairy and the fairy no i don't think this is the right fairy for the job <laughs> the color is too close this would be the fairy for the job i think let me get let me get grandma mabel grandma mabel has all of the grandma mabel has all of the double-sided tape so you need to follow the final measurement not the first okay kika wants to swap um bb wants to swap as well bb did you want to swap the books so contact each other you guys if you want to do some swappings cute 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 and then we can put where's my where's my chaos crafts stickers here these are my favorite chaos crafts are my favorite love is everything look how easy that is and then a bird let me get up a bird from here oh the color is too similar i'm wasting the bird there you go much cuter much cuter because of the color variation this is how easy the book is Just like that. And then you get, let's do the trick that Lael Konkar showed us. Get a piece of, let get paper right here. Yes, Erlinda, try it. It's so super easy. I just made a book. Yay! Yes, they are super cute. 
They are super, super cute. They're easy and they lay so flat. It's perfect to mail it. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg to create. Just like that. And I am selling some. I am selling two kits for if you don't want to make your own. I'm selling two kits, okay? I will post it in my um I will post it in my craft shop in Instagram once it's created. Look at that. There's your book. Okay, imagine you're gonna add that there. Darker pink, yellow green and colored that is six books right there we have to decorate this one i don't know how to decorate it let me think let's see Ooh, this would be so cute let's look at these let's look at these and see how it goes i live in pittsburgh and we got seven inches of snow yesterday hi tina thank you for being here that is insane seven inches of snow yesterday who created pha me pebbles type my name christian type christian pebbles thank you thank you gina for the link so I think this would be absolutely perfect, but I need to do, I need to put something within this. It can't be just this in itself. Do you guys have any suggestions? Should I just do for the drawer, I mean? Because I can't really decorate it that much. I have to use... I do have to use mini icon stickers, to be honest. Because the odds and ends are too big. It is quite huge. Oops. Ah, ah. I know I want to put this pink thing. Logging off for the evening. Goodbye, Camellia. Goodbye, goodbye. Thank you for hanging out with us. Okay. So this is our this is our cabinet. Again, if you want to remove this entirely and just put something else in here, you could. That is up to you. If you want it to be an open shelf and you want to add like a suitcase, I don't know, like a mini suitcase in here, up to you. But that is an option if you want to. A, um, a drawer is also an option if you want to hide things. Rosalinda, hello. Stamping Chica. Hello, Stamping Chica. I think it's Rosemary. Stamping Chica is Rosemary. I'm trying to figure out what to put in there. Let me look. I don't want it. I want it to be spring for sure. Mini icon stickers are always, always good. Ooh, that's cute. Let's try it. I'm just cutting this side sticker. We'll see how it goes. Good night, Camelia. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. This would be so cute, to be honest. Okay, so this is a sticker on the side. Yay, Rosemary. How are you? How's your week? So, Rosemary, since um, since you just, you just got here, I want to tell you that we have homework this coming week, okay? Your homework is to create a book 
just like this one, one book. The minimum work is one book and one bookshelf. And then you can put photos. Let me show you what I made that I added photos for my family. This one I made on Friday. And I did put mini photos of my fam. And this is when we went to Paris. Eiffel Tower. And then this is in Stockholm. And this is in Visby. This is in the cruise ship. That's my hubs. And Paris again. And Nick baking some muffins. This one is in Russia. This one is... So super, super simple. It's a small, it's a small, small book. And we, tonight we made the bookshelf. And the, the bookshelf measurements is in the description box for you. Um, okay. So. This is what I put in the middle. This is what I want. But I do want to put something else. That's going to make it fabulous. Ha, ha. I don't know. I don't want to cover it too much though. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm not going to stick it. I'm just going to practice. We'll see how it goes. I'm just going to, because you can't really block too much, you know what I mean? I don't want it getting blocked either. Oh, that's cute. This one. And then, the clouds. Cute! Cute, cute, cute. We're making a scene. Thank you, thank you, Jane. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cousin Phyllis, for the reminder for the thumbs up. The small photos, yes. I, I Rosemary, I use an app called Pick Stitch, and then I print, you know, to make a collage, and then I print it at Walgreens because, because it's so much cheaper. Okay, so I think this is a good idea. I'm going to put the sun a little bit lower. The tree, I think the tree should be in the corner. Okay, so let's do that. The sun is going to be a little bit on the center mark. Just like this. Just like this. And then this guy is going to be here. Because remember, this one is going to be here in the center. We're making a scene for our drawer. So that it's going to be cute. You know. Hoo, ha, ha. Is there a bird here somewhere? Or a cute ant. I need photos. I love it. Just need my bookcase. Made my book. Thank you. Thank you. Gosh. This is adorable. It's, isn't it full of life? I feel like it's so full of life. Um, what we're doing. It needs something up here. Oh, got it. That is it. And then I'm going to put it in the center. And that's going to be our drawer pull. <clears throat> Pick stitch. Yup, yup, yup. Look at our scene. And then I'm going to use my glue gun. I got this from AliExpress, the handle. But you can use whatever handle that you have. It doesn't have to be this. I hope that it's centered. Cute, cute, cute. I think I need an extra flower somewhere.
Okay, is there a bird that's flying somewhere? Nope. Nope, that is it. All I need to do, my friends, is to make... Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh! Pick stitch, yes. Look how cute that is. And then I have all these. I have more of these papers to create more books. See, if you make a rainbow, I have gathered all these so that I can make books. This, this These are going to be my book covers. Wouldn't this be so pretty for your... Wouldn't this all these colors wouldn't this be so pretty for your bookshelf oh my gosh it could be just plain on the inside and just decorate away that's that's my plan is to have just plain on the inside plain white but the book covers will be all these colors i think it would be absolutely phenomenal but this is what our book looks like i need to erase the adhesive just so it doesn't stick but that is what our book looks like i hope you enjoyed it my friends imagine the potential for this project and you could put feet if you wanted to um looks like i looks like this is where the top is and you can put decoration up top if you want to if you wanted to up to you variety i love doing the rainbow color i think i'm gonna do the rainbow it's gonna be so much cuter if it's look how cute that is it's so simple so simple and yet so fabulous you can put a suitcase on top and then book whatever you prefer it is up to you but this is what we made we made the bookshelf I hope that you like it. Love the scene. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's so cute. It's just using mini icon stickers. Um, thank you so much for being here, everyone. I hope you liked it. I need a book that will fit to my Instax photos. How big are the Instax photos? That suitcase is cute. Thank you so much. This is um, super, super tiny. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out with me this Sunday. I'm going to be MIA Monday, Tuesday. But I'll be back Wednesday on, on YouTube. And it's going to be Wednesday night crafts and laughs. Late night crafts and laughs with Rachel on Wednesday. I hope you guys are able to attend and hang out with us. Um, the measurements is in the description box for you if you... If you want to create it. But your assignment next week is to create a bookshelf with at least one book. Um, the measurements are provided for you in the description box. So I hope you have fun with that. And with that said, I hope you have a wonderful crafty week. This is Christian signing off, you guys. Good night, good night, and have an amazing coming week. Bye, guys!